Let's cross live now to the funeral uh, proceedings uh, and our reporter, of course, uh, Aldrin Sampier is there at the funeral of my Emma Mashinini in Pretoria. A worker at a very young age whose future might have been confined. Well, a very good morning to our viewers at home. We are live at St. Alban's Cathedral in Pretoria Central for the funeral service of a woman often hailed as a, a trade union a legend. That is Umama Emma Mashinini, who passed away on Monday at the age of 87. Uh, now, what is taking place here behind me is that... Um, a funeral is currently underway and is in procession as we are speaking and uh, we understand that uh, she has been granted uh, uh, a provincial special funeral by the president uh, president jacob zuma who had ordered that in the Gauteng province uh, flags be flown at half mast in honor of this woman now um there is the board uh, behind me just indicating that uh, indeed it is a provincial uh, funeral here that uh, she is really being honored and uh, really uh, being hailed and celebrated for her all uh, her efforts uh, having been uh, a human rights uh, activist but also mostly uh, fighting for the workers rights and uh, one of the biggest roles is that uh, she served for 12 years uh, as part of the National Union of Clothing Workers. Uh, in that capacity, she fought for a lot in terms of uh, workers' rights. But mostly, she is known for forming her own union that is called... Uh, Sakau, but also also played a very leading role in the formation of uh, what we know today as Kosatu. And the story that we actually have is that if you look at the, at the logo of Kosatu, you will see that there are three figures there. And one of those f figures there is a female with a baby uh, on her back. And we are told that um, initially the proposal for that logo was to have three males. But because she also is a gender activist, she made sure that uh, women were represented in that Kosatu logo. Uh, a bit of interesting history telling her, just showing just uh, what women of strength she was. But alongside um, her work being uh, a trade unionist, uh, she was also a human rights activist and as a result, uh, in 1981 she was arrested by the apartheid government where she spent about six months in Pretoria Central uh, Prison. So what is happening today now, we are celebrating the woman's life and uh, along with that uh, uh, the, the service is currently underway but she had requested that uh, uh, at her funeral we were told that these are her wishes that her funeral should simply be just about church service there shouldn't be any speeches given so what is taking place currently is that uh, it's a simple church service with uh, the, 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 the pastor leading the services and no speeches being given. But of course we do have here uh, dignitaries that have come to pay their respects. Uh, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who is in a frail state but obviously felt the need to come here and also just um, uh, say his goodbye to this woman. We do also have uh, IEC Chairperson Glenn Machinini also here. Uh, paying her his respects and and a lot of um, officials from trade unionists are also here this morning paying their rep uh, respects to this legendary woman and uh, with that we can now go inside and just follow the proceedings it wasn't two personalities in the worker world and in the christian world she did all right that is sipo stewardman live to us from pretoria at the funeral proceedings of ma emma machinini